moments here. It's been building for a long time. I guess, you know, a couple yes. days out. How are you feeling? Great, great, great. I feel great. Not just uh, physically, not, sorry, not, not just mentally great, but I feel physically great, too. It's uh, awesome to be fighting at 55, honestly. Oh, great. I was going to say, how much different is yeah. that on a fight week? Yeah, like I said it a, a million times at this point. Like, focusing on performance these last few weeks in training and not just the weight has been a weight off my shoulders. It's been awesome just to focus on myself and not just fucking a number on a scale. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we'd, we'd hope to see you sooner here in the PFL cage. I guess, you know, how difficult was that, and, and, and what was the time like in between? The time lag was in between was just rehab, heavy rehab. I had an injury that was annoying. I tried to push through it, and like I said, the weight cut was just killing me. Like being at that deficit, it was, I couldn't recover. So once that once the fight was off, I was like, all right, I'm gonna get my ass in PT, and I just PT'd hard. So now I'm good, man. Firing all cylinders. Nice. No, so you didn't have to have any surgery. No, thank God. Yep, no awesome. surgery. Yep. Was there any concern at all, like, dude, because? Then you do have a date on the calendar, right? So this, it's non-traditional with other organizations, right? Where if you can't make that yeah. first week, that, it messes up the whole year. Exactly. That's why that was back in November. So I was like, all right, I'm not fighting until April. Let me get my ass on the PT. Take that seriously. I've been PTing it three, four times a week now. Anyways, I, I do PT when I feel good. So shout out to Edge Pro PT, Prams, New Jersey. Fair <laughs> Uh, matchmaking, obviously they bring you in. I, I guess you probably expected they weren't going to give you any easy fights, but they give you the champ right away. I mean, what, what were your thoughts on that? Thank you, thank you. That's a, Give me him right off the bat while I'm fresh. It doesn't make sense for me to, like, if you had to give me a choice, I guess I would pick the toughest guy if you think about it because I'm fresh. If I get him the second, third, fourth fight, that's already a little banged up from the previous fight. So I'm like, right now, I'm, I'm good. Why not take the hardest fight right off the bat? Right. You mentioned that. That's the thing that I think a lot of guys that have come over have talked about is how difficult the schedule is. Have you tried to... Give me insight on, like, how to approach this? Or? I'm just going to kind of, like, wing it. I mean, like, everyone's asking how the training camp's going. This is just a regular training camp because I'm on, it's the first one. Ask me this for the next one, all right? J June 23rd is my next fight. Ask me how that training camp was because it's definitely going to have to be different from every fight after this one. Nice. Talk to me about the matchup itself stylistically, I guess. I mean, what do you think about the uh, – it's, it's a fun fight. He's definitely improved a lot. I mean, the dude won, he won the entire season. You got to give – anybody that goes through the season, let alone, let alone wins the season, but – goes through it and then wins it he's got that he's got something in him that, that that's different so yeah nice. last thing for me i mean obviously the goal here is to win these four fights but i, guess, I don't know when you come in it feels like you're comfortable you seem in good spirits <laughs> but i just wonder if there's like a like a not necessarily pressure but you know they banked on you, oh right? yeah they yeah yeah, 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 yeah. The high profile free agent yes. you came in to make waves i mean do you feel like i gotta go in there and show them something absolutely but uh, i put that pressure on myself anyways i feel like that regardless of, of anyone else's added pressure. I got the pressure of the weight of the world on my shoulders to provide for, for my family. So, like, yeah, I'm going out there from the first belt to the last belt. I'm, I'm looking to start this guy. I'm trying to take him out. Yeah, Shane, uh, obviously, you know, we're going to fight at the season finale. Now two events have passed to the regular season. Has that anticipation kind of gone up? Now oh, you yeah. See everyone else go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, being last, like, on the bill, I'm like, oh, I'm chomping at the bit. It's been cool to, like, see how it – goes a little bit before you jump in there, but I'm like, shit, I kind of wish I was the middle guy instead of like the last one, but you know, I'm gonna close the show with a bang. And then uh, he's <clears throat> talked about, you know, hopefully playoffs in Canada. Look, we've seen this happen. Sometimes people got to run it back in the playoffs. Yeah. If they say, hey, enemy territory, <laughs> you know, this fall, would you be down for that? Absolutely, man. I don't care where, anywhere, but I mean, they come to New York a lot, so don't be surprised if they put us in New York, and then that's not enemy territory at all. I'll pack that place out. And I think they know that, so I do expect to be fighting in New York relatively soon, honestly. You know, obviously, folks, step 55, but do you feel like you might see yourself keeping an eye on the featherweights just in case you think about that for next year? I, no, no. Se season, I can't do a whole season at 45 just because the, the turnaround is too quick. Four fights in eight months, that's four weight cuts in eight months, that's four camps in eight months. That's just too much. My body would just keep breaking down, honestly. Okay. Jane, over here. Um, ultimately, you've been, you've been in a different organization, many organizations. What caught your attention about the PFL that ultimately made you want to join? The money. <laughs> to be blunt, to be blunt, the, mo the money, honestly, I get, like, I, I got a great deal, like, per fight, but I also, like, that, that million dollars, like, dude, it's a, it's a million dollars. You don't hear that number in MMA. You, you literally don't hear that number in MMA. You got, like, a couple guys like John Jones and then Connor and, like, the bigger stars, right? But you don't really hear that number in MMA, especially, like, outside of the UFC. So, PFL, you win a million dollars if you win four fights. It's, it's, and it's, it's there. It's in sight. You know what I mean? It's not like where you're like, oh, you might have to fight him. You might have to fight five, six times. Then you get your title shot. But if it's a boring fight, not my, no, no, it's you, you win three fights, you're fighting for a million bucks. Yeah. Say you win that, what are you doing with the million dollars? Uh, I don't know. That's a great question. Uh, definitely going on like a month-long vacation. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I took my family somewhere crazy. But uh, then I'll sit back and think about investing in something. Obviously, you, you fought in Vegas before, but how does this fight be compared to the other it's th this is the best fight week I've ever had. Um, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, it's been the, the best fight week. I feel fucking great. And uh, 
and uh, I know all of your focus right now is on Olivier, but when you saw the list of lightweights, any other, uh, any other name caught your eye? Or Everybody keeps asking me that question. No, no, no one else. No, that, I saw the whole division, yeah, but I'm, I got the, the champ. The guy, that won, he's defending his belt, in my opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it this, like this is a title fight. I'm not worried about anyone else. Just like I assume they're not worried about anyone else, but if they are, that's, that's their problem. I'm, I'm, this is the guy that's champ. This is the guy that I'm fighting on Friday. I'm not thinking about anyone else. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's a great question. I never got asked a question like that. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't grow up very religious. Um, my grandma told me some stories, like some biblical stories. I remember. I have really fond memories of that. But um, I, I can't really explain it how I kind of found my faith. But I just I got to the UFC and the way I the way I got to the UFC. I, dude, I was supposed to fight for a CFFC title. This is like one of my favorite stories. I was supposed to fight for the CFFC title. That fight fell out on a week's notice. I was I was uh, my my wife's pregnant. I'm having my first kid. I'm only making twenty three grand a year at this point. She has to stop working. I live in a one bedroom apartment. My fight falls out, and I was gonna make like six grand off that fight, dude. Six grand regionally. I'm like, let's go. Like, like I'm, I'm hyped up. I'm like, I'll be able to have some money in the bank because my wife can't work, so it's just all on me right now. I was like, thank you, thank, thank you. That fight falls out. I remember just crying, just being like, what am I gonna do? I needed that money. I needed that money. What happens after that? UFC has a card in Albany. The first, and New York, it just gets legalized in New York. It literally just happens that year, and then somebody in my weight class gets gets pulled out. So they need a 45er. I live an hour and a half away from Albany. I'm like, dude, this, no way. I get on Twitter, start Twitter fingers, start calling the guy out, just like, get me this, get me this fight, doing interviews, trying to get the fight. And I get the fight. On two and a half weeks notice, I make the weight. I remember just not having any nerves. I was like, I wasn't nervous at all. So I remember looking out at the arena, like it was massive. And I was like, I'm supposed to be here. This is, this is everything's, everything's happening for a reason. This is like weird how this is lining up because I'm dead broke and I'm about to change my life with this. This, this is insane to me. So I was like, There's, there, this is supposed to happen. And I know God put me in that position. And, and I had a full training camp. So it was two weeks notice, but I had that full training camp. My weight was good enough. I was like, in no other circumstance could this have worked out. I, divine, divine intervention. I, I, I wholeheartedly believe in that. So yeah, thank God for this. Yeah. Uh, yesterday I saw you were uh, hanging out uh, full side listening to some uh, Christian music. Is that also going to be your walkout music, sort of a Christian theme? No, I had to actually get, like, Sociosa, the app. I, I gave him four options for songs, and, and the fans have to pick one, so I'm actually, you, you'll see what I'm walking out to. I don't know if I want to say it yet. It's a good, it's a good song. It's a good song. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.